We have traders at the top, folks, and this is the first and primary trader. This stink pocket piece of garbage that I have known personally since the late 80s, this piece of garbage is a U.S. senator, will turn 80 years old and is running for U.S. senator against a really nice guy who can make a change. Senator John McCain, you and the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, are a disgrace to America. You can tell your handlers you are an absolute disgrace. Coming to you from retired Captain William B. Mount and Ambassador, who you arrogant little son of a gun won't even allow me to speak to your personal aid because you are too high and mighty as a god in your own eyes. Well, God is about to take you and the Speaker of the House down, so he has said it, so it shall be. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords has spoken, you skunk bucket piece of garbage, and your entire staff know this. Now, we've got a million people praying for you that you turn to God along with Senator Paul Ryan. Ha, 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 Congressman. What a piece of human garbage you both are. Do you get it? God will now deal with you. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we have a million people praying for you that both of you, both of you traitors turn back to God. I also ask my, now that was my personal message to that scum bucket piece of garbage who treated us as if we were peons as captains and lieutenants and command sergeant majors and first sergeants in the military. We were treated like garbage by that piece of junk. He lived his life on a lie. He lived his life on a lie. He was beaten. He was, oh my God, he was beaten every day. The every two hours. Every two hours. The unbeatable POW who was a god in his own eyes. <clears throat> now, John, at six, 79 years old, God will deal with you because we have a million people praying that you turn to him. There's not a lot of choice. May I suggest you uh, turn back to God, Mr. John McCain, you godless traitor. Pray that your family is ready for what's coming because we have traitors in the White House. We have traitors as the Speaker of the House. We have a traitor who's a senator who has lied his entire life. We have a traitor who's having seizures who is the Secretary of State running for the Democratic presidential candidate. We have an FBI agent who was caught two days ago who's been dead for eight years with a pistol breaking into the Trump Center trying to kill Donald Trump. That's on, we put that on uh, drwilliamount.blogspot.com uh, so the story won't get lost. And now this recording of John McCain, he prosecuted people for doing less. Remember, John McCain, karma's only a bitch if you're a bitch. And you prosecuted people for doing less than what you did. You ran around North Vietnam and you were a traitor to my troops. You know what? Now God will deal with you. Any, any final words for this traitor in chief? Well, that's a prosecutable offense. Oh, yeah, but like Obama's going to prosecute him? No, he came out against Trump. Why? How because he's demoralizing he... to all those soldiers in Vietnam. Three million troops demoralized by that skunk bucket piece of garbage. Everybody knew it. We just couldn't prove it until now. Seems like yesterday that Vietnam, just that era just comes rushing back. Jane Fonda and John McCain, the two biggest traitors, never prosecuted for no. treason. Hanoi Jane. Hanoi Jane. Richard Nixon, Carter, Ford, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, skunk bucket lying Obama number four couldn't prosecute any of those traitors. Won't. We won't. We have we have traitors at the top and we have traitors in the US Senate. And it's high time that the world knew that Senator John McCain is a traitor and was a traitor and always has been a traitor. He still is a traitor. He's pardoning these murders who are burning down Christian churches and coming to America to burn them down here. This man, Senator John McCain, is a traitor to America. He always has been. He always will be. And guess what? His daddy's records and his daddy's daddy's records, his admirals, most of it is sealed. They were also traitors. The apple does not fall far from the tree. I hope you get this message, Senator. You have been an absolute jerk to anyone who calls you, including members of foreign royalty, including Knights of Malta, including ambassadors. You are a god in your own eyes, complete with the gold fringe on the flag. 
and the two dangly bobs, meaning you bow to the English courts. You are a traitor. You always have been. You always will be. Now God will deal with you. I hope you turn to him. We have a million people praying that you get on your knees and say, God, I'm really sorry. I have to tell the truth. I really am a traitor. I'm 79 years old. You know, you don't, what, what's man's lifespan? 120 at the most? Don't you think at 79 years old it's time for him to repent? His choice. It's his choice. It's his soul. It's his family's soul. And he will go down in history along with Hanoi, Jane, Presidents Bush, Clinton, Bush, and Obama, and Hillary as the biggest traitors, not only to um, the United States, but since they're killing and murdering people all over the world, the biggest, John McCain, Hillary, Obama, they will go down as the biggest murderers of planet Earth in the history of planet Earth. This man makes Adolf Hitler look like a piker. It's very upsetting. Yeah, you think he's a war hero. His books, his speeches. I was in Hanoi. He's beaten. made so much money off the backs of lives. Of the of, of the, lies. He's made money off the backs of dead U.S. soldiers. Yep. John McCain. It would be easy for me to say I hate your guts, and I, if I ever see you, I'll rip your head off. But what we need to do is we need to pray for him because he's 79 years old. And if he's ever going to turn to God now, it would be a very good time, John McCain, because you're old and your arteries are very hard. He got the POW record sealed. Because of that, there were soldiers left behind. That man was responsible for sealing POW records and murdering thousands of and U.S. The, troops. The, there were soldiers left behind because of that. I want you to see his eyes. This man is responsible for killing the American POWs in North Vietnam. I want you to look at his face and I want you to pray that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords forgives him and that he gets on his knees and turns to him. There isn't anything else we can do. You can't touch him. He's protected. Even his staff won't allow you to talk to him. They are God. Even his, you know, Jane, of all the senators I've ever spoken to, I've never spoken to more arrogant people than his staff. I'm telling you, I, I've called a lot of senators like today. I called the senators trying to find out why half the Republicans are against Trump. And the people you call in the offices don't even know if the Republican senators are for Trump. You were there listening to yeah. me call all these people. I've never heard anything like it. Yeah, well, we don't we know. We can't say. Yeah, that one gal. We can't say how our, how our senator feels. We can't say if our Republican senator from Wisconsin supports John McCain. I, well, report, or supports, supports uh, Trump. Donald Trump. What do you mean you can't tell me whether the Republican supports him? I know Paul Ryan doesn't because he's guilty of treason. Of course he doesn't support him. Well, that, you want to play it again? And no, you, I, I, I'm not going to play it again. It's just so disgusting. I, this guy's been a senator forever. Well, let's, get, let's <coughs> try it. Here we go. And then we'll let you go. Okay. Here we go. And I will show his face as he speaks. It may help you hear this a little bit better. Here it is again. An armed services committee. It is sickening, Jan. He's in charge of the troops, and he's a traitor. An absolute traitor. Coming to you live, Dr. William B. Mount. Hey, I don't have anything to fear. This guy won't even talk to me. We are the little people. Thank you very much. God bless each and every one of you, the most intelligent, most active audience, and one of the largest in the world. God bless each and every one of you, and good night.